Hello again. I spoke recently about the alarming news that parents will not be required to give their permission for vaccinations, at least not for those for the COVID-19 vaccine. Instead, children as young as 12 will be given the opportunity to make an informed decision on a subject about which many educated adults are having great difficulty working out the best course of action. Now, the Appeal Court has ruled that children may also make their own decisions about taking hormones and puberty blockers if they are possessed by the idea that they wish to change sex. I honestly don't know what is going on lately. It certainly looks to me as though there is some kind of drive to take away from parents the duty to decide what is best for their own children. All this has happened very suddenly and as with so many other unwelcome changes, the catalyst appears to have been the pandemic. In 2019, nobody would have dreamt of injecting a child with anything or giving him or her any drugs at all without the express permission of the parents. This has always been the case in Britain and no doctor would have even considered treating a child or giving the child any drugs without the parents say so. There were one or two minor exceptions to this general rule. Um, if there was an emergency, for instance, and the parents couldn't be contacted. If the child of a Jehovah's Witness needed a blood transfusion and the parents refused to allow it, then it was not the case that the child was considered able to consent. Instead, legal steps had to be taken. The child had to be made a ward of court, for example, which removed parental responsibility for medical treatment. This was very right and proper, and everybody knew precisely where they stood. Once things were taken for granted, and there was no doubt at all that the child could not consent to a blood transfusion, injections, drugs or anything else. It was always the parents. And if the, it was thought that the parents were making a faulty decision, then it was for the courts to step in. The change in all this began when it was announced that it would be children as young as 12 who would decide if they were to have the vaccination for COVID rather than their parents. It was done in a rather sneaky way. The government tried to conceal the fact that this is what was happening by insisting that the permission of parents would be sought. Quite true, of course. But what we were not told was that if the parents refused, then the child would be asked instead. In other words, there seems to have been a grim determination to carry out these injections, come what may, and regardless of what mum and dad wanted. The new example of this dangerous way of thinking relates to the very modern fashion for children changing their external appearance to match out of the opposite sex. Parental consent has been removed there as well, and the Appeal Court has ruled that children under the age of 16 should have the right to decide for themselves if they wish to take puberty blockers. I give a link to a news item about this awful decision in the description to this video. The problem is that there has been no long-term research into giving drugs which block puberty to otherwise healthy children. There is reason to suppose that osteoporosis in later life might be one side effect and also that they will affect fertility. In other words, a girl under 16 may give her informed consent, as it's called, to such treatment and then if the whole transgender thing has been a passing phase, she may have been robbed of the chance to have a baby. That is the hell of a decision to expect a 14-year-old to be making. We can expect to see more of this kind of thing, and although we are told that it is about children taking control of their bodies, it's nothing of the kind. Medical experts and social workers, teachers and youth workers will be encouraging children to undertake this or that treatment while assuring them that their parents will not know and cannot do anything about it. 
The aim is to transfer power over children's lives away from the family and to state employees. And all this has been triggered by the COVID vaccine and the mad rush to have every child in the country given it, regardless of the implications for parental responsibility.